Hello team, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and you are watching UFT tutorial series. Today we are going to understand on a new topic on the output value itself, which is file content output value. So just like any other output value, this is also going to help you extract certain information from the document, but here the range would be really high or large enough when you talk about the documents uh, and you say file content checkpoint. We remember the extensions from the checkpoint session. In case you missed that, you can quickly go back to the tutorial on file content checkpoint to understand in more details. Generally, there are five uh, extensions which can be accepted by this particular output value. That is a PDF, Word, a, a RTF, a Doc, and HTML. So these are the five things which can be accepted by the output value of the file content. And generally, this is to verify if certain value uh, appeared as expected or not. So generally, what happens, let's consider a scenario here. Uh, when it comes to uh, having a runtime log generation, runtime uh, data file generation, or maybe an HTML report, and you would like to compare or capture the information from the runtime of these documents. It can be an HTML form or PDF or maybe Word, and you want to retrieve this information from the particular document in the log of the result window, and you want to see that what was the information captured. So. Output value could be helpful here at this point of time when it comes to file content checkpoint. Oh, sorry, the file content output value. So uh, we will be just getting ahead into the details of the same by just getting started with the uh, execution of the same and the demonstration. So for that, all we would need is a, a brand new test here, like the new fresh test, which will allow you to just make sure that no previous settings exist. And all you have to do is move to the design menu here and come to the output value and pick up the file content uh, output value. And uh, I'm just taking a sample application which is about the details of the HP Quick Test Professional Docs. It's a Word document. And uh, to generally add a step, we generally have to create certain parameters. For example, if you want, you can do it for the entire page and create a parameter which is not recommended because it will be clubbed all together in a particular cell when you export. So say for example, I'm interested in the title of the document and uh, then maybe uh, the subtitle of it, for example, on description, uh, maybe the uh, user interface, the second topic. And it's up to you what all you want to select, but uh, uh, I would recommend you create separate parameters for each one of them. So I'm just taking three to save some time and tell you how do we do it. So all you have to do is just like this, you can select the content which you want to capture as a part of it. Because say, for example, if it is a runtime generated document, then obviously this title should appear on the top. And you select the entire content and say, click on P here, which is called as the parameter introduction. And then define it as, say, for example, file content underscore title. And uh, say OK. So you can see that the file is created right below that. There's a column. Now, this will replace the value. Whatever value was there, it will create it as a parameter. So next time during the runtime, whatever value comes here will be captured. Similarly for this, uh, if you want to change uh, the parameter or sequencing, whatever you want to select, you can select that and click a parameter new and just say uh, whatever you want here. Say, for example, title file content underscore one. OK. And the next one is file content underscore two. So same steps. I'm just repeating the steps. As... Okay, it has taken a predefined thing. Anyway, it's not a problem. You can modify it. I didn't modify that. So just say okay here. And the output value step is added in your script. Now let's quickly run this and see what is the output we can expect by adding a file content output value. So during runtime, you can observe that it has captured all the details and uh, information. So when we come to the result tab, you can see the details captured from here. So you can see for the first one, we have got HP Quick Test Professional. Second one, we have got description and user interface. Now to just quickly have certain changes uh, in the outcome, I'm, I'm just trying to uh, modify it a bit. So purposely going to the file and uh, editing it. So instead of the title, maybe say I now it is a micro focus product. So micro focus 
Grid Test Professional. And there's a title, a description. So maybe we try to say something else. Maybe like um, outline. So it's up to you, whatever you want to do. And you can make some. And let's keep the second one the same so that we can feel that if the other things were updated or not. So just save and close it and close this result to avoid confusions. And let the output step be same. You are not supposed to update it because if you update it, of course, it will capture the new one. So let's click the run button here. All right, seems it's working fine. So let's come to the result tab. And here, if you see the data one, here we have got microfocus, uh, quick test professional outline and user interface. So this is what is generally what we call it as the file content output value, which can be defined by us. And only that particular part of the document can be exported or can be retrieved during the runtime from the application or from the uh, external files which are being generated during the runtime. So that's all my friends from the file content output values. Stay tuned for upcoming tutorials. In case you have not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel for staying tuned with uh, the content and the deliveries or the topics what we are going to have upcoming in this uh, channel. Meanwhile, in, you know, you, if you have any queries, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you at any point of time. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep practicing. Thanks for watching the video team. Take happy learning.